Hi everybody and welcome back to some more Assetto Corsa Ultimate Edition here on this channel. I'm KPG Guna here. Now in today's video we are going to be taking on another special event and the one I've chosen today is the BMW Race. So this is going to be in the M3 E30 Group A and this is going to be awesome. Also guys there was an update today and it was only a small patch and we're just about to have a look at that now. So let's get into it. So here we go. Right, so update or 1.22 was only a small update, so it's fixed trophy descriptions in Korean language for the ultimate and it's added special events for bonus pack free to the base game. And we're going to be doing loads more of those special events here on this channel. So let's get straight back in today's episode in the awesome E30, so here we go. Right guys, we're going to jump straight into this special event and it's a five lap race around Mugello. And I'll tell you what, this Italian circuit is one of the best out there guys. I absolutely love it, not just in the cars, but on the motorbikes as well when I do my MotoGP videos. So let's get straight into this special event. Hopefully we can get a decent result. So let's get straight into the BMW and go for it. So here we go. Right, so here we go with this special event in the M3. Now we're on the factory settings and we use those settings for all the special events. So let's see if we can get a decent start here. Now this car is going to slide around quite a bit, uh, but it is fun, guys. The Group A cars in this game are fantastic. They're one of the best and most fun cars that I've driven on any racing sim. So let's see if we can get a good start here and try not to get involved in any crashes early on. Right, slow it down and see if we get into there oh nice a bit of a rear slide there don't crash oh managed just to get through the middle there there was a yellow flag there there was a few bumps here and there but that overall wasn't too bad i didn't see anyone get uh, taken out so that's an awesome start right onto the apex can we take this car oh, that was a bit of a scrape down the side of that car but i took the position and yeah, i'm trying my hardest just to keep the car on the tarmac oh, Again, a bit of a slide. It takes a while to get the heat in the tyres. It may take a lap or so and just getting used to the handling of the car. It's been a while since I've been in these Group A cars. Oh God, that car slam is breaks on. Let's just try not to push it too hard. Let's just see how we do. And this can be a very, very tricky turn here. Let's just try and gradually put our foot down around the turn once we feel the traction. And that's nicely done. Let's keep it nice and tight. Hold it, hold it it hold it oh that was nice right so let's see if we can take another couple of places in this lap but there is absolutely no room let's just be careful into that turn again and we want to keep pace with the leaders of the race we don't want to let them get away because this is only a five lap race but it is quite a long circuit so it does give you the opportunity to push as hard as you can right let's keep it nice and tight around that turn oh my god i'm sliding all over the place the tires are still not up to temperature We've still got a car quite close behind us, so let's just be careful we don't get bumped off. But these two red BMWs having a right battle here. Let's see if we can get in amongst that right. We managed to get a good drive out that section, and we've got in the inside. Let's just try and hold it there. He's on our outside. Oh, God, there's a bit of contact, but just hold it. And he should be okay. Yes, we managed to get around that corner okay, but another car managed to get in the inside as well. And uh, we're up to P6. So that overall wasn't a bad first lap. Right, let's get in the slipstream. Now, this long straight is awesome. If you've ever watched MotoGP, they get up to over 100, 210 miles an hour down this straight. I think um, uh, one of the Ducatis actually hit nearly 220. So, yeah, it is a very, very good straight. Right, we've managed to get through that corner. Okay, we've managed to take another place. So, can we hold it? Is he going to take the inside? Oh, he's going to hold it. Oh, that is a good move. Let's try and hold on to this uh, apex again. And try and... Yes, we managed to hold it nicely there. And we kept the position. But he is very, very close. Can we hold this corner? We're trying to take the inside again. Trying to be really smart with our overtakes. Uh, no. Oh, God. Oh, a little bit of a bump there he dived back in front of us but it was a fair move so we let him go right let's just hold the inside again oh god just got a little bit too much curb there but i am feeling a little bit more uh, grip now i'm getting used to the car 
Right, let's see if we can get past this car in this turn. Let's try and take the inside line again, and we should be able to take that position. We're going side by side, and yes, we've managed to take it, and we're up to P4. We're doing really, really well here. Really enjoying these cars. No, he's still on the outside. He's not having none of it. Right, let's just try and keep the inside line. Is he going to try and go on the outside? Is he going to get past? Oh, yes, he is. Oh, my God. I'm having a right battle here. We're going to have to concede that position. Right, let's go on the outside this time and see if we can take him in this turn. We want to try and get round him without any contact. Right, let's keep it nice and smooth. A little bit of a slide there. Just trying to balance uh, the throttle and brake. That wasn't too bad, and let's just try and keep it nice and smooth through here. We should be able to get past him if we can just get a good run. Oh, he put his brakes on there. He almost went straight into the car in front. Right, let's see if we can slip up the inside in this corner. We need to start pushing. Then we come towards the end of lap two. Oh, got a bit more smoke there from the car in third. He almost lost that rear end there. Right, we managed to get a good drive on that turn. Right, we should be able to get this slipstream. Let's go around the outside of him here. And we should be able to get past. We wanted to stay in that inside line because if he goes side by side with us into that uh, right hander in the third lap we don't want to, um, to to go into him so if we hold the inside and let him go on the outside we will just see what he does no we've managed to get past him quite uh, good there we've managed just to hold that position and uh, we still haven't hit the fastest lap we're still a little bit off the pace but hopefully during the race we can just up our level a little bit to get past another car there so we're up to p3 oh my god oh grabbed a little bit too much curb there almost lost the front end there and we've got a car in our inside are we going to just try and hold that position is he going to try and no we've managed to clear him and we are we are we are in third place right that's settled down and see if we can a little bit hard on this lap i'm really really enjoying this special event i mean when i was like flicking through thinking what uh, event to do next this one stood out <laughs> and i thought i've never done this event how could i miss this awesome event in the group a cars so that uh, just went straight straight on and i'm absolutely loving it right let's just try and hold it and i'm still questioning whether they made some tweaks to this game that they didn't list when the ultimate edition came out it just seems so much smoother the sounds the graphics the handling of the cars i just just feel so much better maybe it's just me but i am using a different steering wheel that i was previously using when i played a set of courses before because uh, i'm on the g29 but i will be upgrading again guys and i will be doing a video and i will be doing an unboxing when i get to that new steering wheel i'm not going to uh, tell you which one it's going to be but that is going to come very very soon Right, let's see if we can just keep it nice and steady through there. We need to push a little bit harder. We come towards the end of lap three, and we're going to only have two laps to try and win this race. Oh, that car in front uh, didn't have a good corner there. He was struggling, but he's managed to steady himself. Right, let's see if we can gain a bit of time here. We need to get this slipstream, and this will be our fastest lap of the race. But I'm not sure whether it's going to be the fastest lap. I don't think it is and we still need to go a lot faster so let's see if we can push a little bit harder on this lap we really need to do that if we want to win the race right slow it down all oh, the red car the red bmw is going in the inside is he going to take first place them two are really going to battle oh god the white car went a little bit uh, off uh, track there but we managed to get in the inside of him so that worked out for us and we're going to be able to take the position he's forcing us on the outside we've managed to turn back into the inside I've, I've got no idea where he's going he's all over the place right that's gone the outside into this next corner i don't think we're going to be able to overtake him we might be able to beat him on the braking yes we've managed to get past him oh that actually worked out quite well and we've managed to get into second place and we've absolutely blitzed through those last couple of turns and we've almost uh, a second up on the time so we are doing really really well on this lap and we needed to push a little bit hard on this lap uh, if we want to get in a position where we can win the race right let's just try and hold it around this turn and that is nicely we're starting to build up some speed we really are up on the time on this lap so this is working out nicely and sometimes you need at least one lap during the end of the race to push you uh, closer to the win and it looks like it's going to be lap four for us oh my god we're almost two seconds up on the time we're absolutely flying on this lap and we needed a lap like this right let's get in his slipstream we've got to let him know we're there hopefully we can force him into a mistake 
We've still got a lap to go, so let's not panic just yet. Let's keep it nice and tight around that turn. Let's try and pull away from the cars behind, and I think we've managed to do that. It looks like it's going to be a head-to-head -head fight for the win between me and this car in front. Let's see if we can get nicely through there. Again, we carried a decent speed through there. I'm not sure whether we're going to be able to take him on this turn. Let's see where he goes and how he breaks. Now he's going to take the inside. Oh, God, a bit of a slide there, but managed to control myself there. Right, so let's get a good run out that turn and really go for it uh, to the finish line and see if we can get the fastest lap of the race. I think this is definitely going to be the fastest. Let's see what time we get. And over the finish line, so we hit uh, 2.10. So that's definitely going to be the fastest lap of the race. I think... Uh, fastest uh, lap I saw previous was a 2.12 uh, so we're definitely up yes it is the fastest lap of the race right it's all about trying to win this race now and we've got to try and get past at some point he's going in the inside it looks like he's going to be very very defensive on this lap and he's going to try and uh, force us to make a really really difficult overtake and we don't really want to do that we don't want to risk losing the race completely and uh, if I finish second I finish second Right, let's just try and take it steady through here. Where's he going to go? He's going to take that inside line against again. A nice defensive move. I respect defensive moves. Uh, I, I don't mind that even on online racing. Uh, you've got to respect that uh, someone's going to try and stop you getting past. But you, that is down to you to up your level to force that mistake or find a way past. Right, can we get past in this turn? He's gone on the outside. Let's go for it. We're diving up the inside. Can we squeeze past? Oh, this is going to be tricky. He's still there. He's still there. Hold it into that turn. Yes, we've managed to clear him. Is he going to come back up the inside? No, he didn't get a decent drive up that section. And we're into the lead. Now we've just got to try and just hold on to this. Is he going to come back past? No, he thought about it, but then he backed off. Let's just keep an eye where he's going. And yes, that was nicely through there. And we managed just to pull away slightly, but we've still got some tricky turns to go, so it's not over yet. Right, let's keep it nice and tight. We're going to be a little bit defensive ourselves now towards the end of the race. Right, so let's see if we can get nicely through here. Keep it on the tarmac. Nicely through there. That should give us a little bit of a breathing space, but he is still very close behind can't afford a mistake on this last corner right let's keep it nice and tight and we've got a bit of a rear slide there but nothing major I do do you know what sliding this car is not an issue you, you always feel on this game because of the feedback you get it, you always feel like you're in control of it and it's that's why they're good drift cars right over the finish line and there you go we take a win in that event and I absolutely love that guys let me know in the comments what sort of cars you would like to see in the special events because there is absolutely loads in this game I think there's about 140 150 special events and we haven't done loads of them I will be doing some online racing on this game don't forget to check out my Facebook group uh, guys if you want to be up to date with all the events that I host and I'm going to leave you a replay of the last couple of laps please enjoy it and I will see you very very soon